Hello and welcome. Light linking has finally arrived in Blender. However, it's uh, in the experimental phase, so things uh, might change. But I couldn't uh, wait to try it out, so if you don't know what uh, light linking is, light linking is basically uh, a way to control which lights affect which ob objects in a 3D scene. To try it out, just go to Blender Experimental Branch Builds or you can use Blender Launcher like I'm doing. Let's dive in and see how light linking works. First, let's switch to uh, Cycles. I have this scene ready and uh, I want to link all the objects to this light. So let's select the light and go to Object Properties, Shading, and there you'll find light linking. You could either use an existing collection from the outliner, but this method is a bit confusing. Uh, it's better to just uh, create a new collection from here. Now we can drag and drop our object from the outliner. Or we could select all the objects in the 3D viewport and then select the light and then shift click the light again to deselect it. Then drag and drop all the objects from the outliner at once. There is even a better way and an easier way. Just select all your objects and then select the light and press Ctrl L and choose light link. Or you could go to Object, then Link, there is Light Link. Now all the objects are in the Light Collection. Let's say you add a new object that you want to add to the Light Collection. Just select it and uh, then select the Light. Press Ctrl L and choose Light Link. Now let's exclude the cube from receiving light, you can still see some light in the cube, but that's just uh, the indirect light that comes from the plane. Now it's completely black. Now this is basically how light linking works, very straightforward. Always make sure to select the light to have access to the light collection. We can also exclude the plane and we can include the cube back again. One thing I really like about this feature is that we can include and exclude shadows as well. This can be very uh, handy in some cases. You can also use light linking with emissive object as, as light source. Let's link these objects to the new emissive torus that I added uh, using the same method as before. Let's find our uh, collection and now we can exclude some objects from receiving the light from the torus. Let's exclude the cube, for example. And now let's exclude the plane as well. Works perfectly. One issue I found uh, was that uh, when I exclude an object, uh, for example, uh, this cube, uh, it will still uh, reflect the object, uh, in this case our torus. I hope uh, we can have an option to make the uh, object completely invisible, hopefully in the future. A huge thanks to Blender developers for working on this, uh, especially Blender Studio. I believe they are the ones who are working on it. If you want to support Blender and Blender Studio, you can check out the links in the description. Before I wrap up, I just want to mention K-Cycles. K-Cycles is a highly optimized custom build of uh, Cycles uh, render engine. It has amazing features and one of them is light linking. 
So if you can't wait for uh, the official Blender release, you can uh, try out K-Cycles. That's all I have for now. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.